My fourth camp was at the campsite at Mejasjöns Fäbodar, a very cozy lakeside camp spot. I woke up early to some birds making a massive racket in the cold morning after not getting as much rest as I had wanted. I had washed my hiking t-shirt in the lake the day before and it still wasn't quite dry, so I took my time, made some tea and a hot meal of reindeer stew for breakfast while waiting for the first rays of sun to reach the camp to help dry it out. The first task of the day was to complete the section I was on, heading into the small town of Ullonger. Before that was the peak of the mountain and the summit cabin there, only a few hundred meters into the hike for the day. I spent a bit of time there taking in the stunning view before getting started with a rather steep descent into town. Well, good morning. It is a bit after nine. I'm on the trail, done about a kilometer, heading pretty steeply downwards. Now we're heading down into the settlement where the hotel would have been. There's a store there, so I'm gonna restock on some snacks, and then we'll see. There's also apparently a bakery that should be open, and a pizza place, which I would really love to have lunch at. Especially, that meant that I could also charge my devices there. So that was like half of the reason to go to, it, to the hotel. But that doesn't open until 11. So that's two hours from now, give or take. And Depending on how fast this road into the town is, like it should be only a kilometer left, or maybe one and a half. Then I don't want to just sit there, because then today offers up 15 kilometers of difficult terrain. <laughs> oh boy, if it is anything like the difficult terrain that we saw a couple of days ago, it'll kill me. I don't think it will be. There's a like a mountain on the middle of that route, which is at like 250 meter climb or something. Which I think is the reason that it's marked difficult. So hopefully that's it and not the whole thing. Boy, am I glad to see that. This section of the trail is entirely overgrown. So it's impossible to see what you're setting your foot into, so I've rolled an ankle a couple of times and slipped some time. Haven't hurt myself properly yet, but it's kind of only a matter of time. So thank you very much, proper trail. And flat too. I love it. <laughs> I can't even show it because the thing is in the bushes. Back side of that says 69. Nice. And nice. The rest of the way into town was an easy and flat road walk. I went to the store, then decided sacrificing 40 minutes was a worthy trade for a pizza. Alright, we're back on the trail. I did stop, have that pizza, it was glorious. Chilled for a bit, got 13% back in my power bank, a large one, so that's good. On the way out, somehow started bleeding. Don't know how. Don't know why, but I had to drop the pack, stop everything. <laughs> Just take care of it. But anyway, now we're going. 15 kilometer section. Should start with a steep uphill here. Three kilometers up to that cabin. That's gonna be the, the steep part. Oh, wow. There's hardly a trail. Uh, I might take out a trekking pole here. Oh, nice stinging nettles. And spiky plants. I decided that trekking pole isn't going to help this much. Yikes. Well, there's a marker. holding my hands up because I don't want to get stung by these things. We're out of it! And there's the friggin' road. 
could have just walked on the road instead. That turned like five meters before we turned. Ah. Oh well. Because of my pizza break, it was now midday and this was already turning out to be another scorching hot day. While it was out of the jungle of undergrowth for now, there was absolutely no shade. Yep. Here I guess. Starting to get the views. I'm also starting to get a feeling that this section is not as well hiked. And more spiders. Getting up there. Hard to believe that's where we just were and the mountain on the other side is where we came from. Can't even see the cabin up there. That's cool. There's more up to be had though. It'll help now. And deforested some part here. And it's making incredibly hot. It already was, but then there was shade at least. It's gonna be less warm today. I don't believe in the weather forecast at all anymore. Made it to a little tiny cottage at the top of the mountain. It's now overcast and rained a couple of just a couple of drips. But before that, it was blazing sun the entire way up, and I just uh, got me zonked. Good news is now it should be downhill from here, at least for quite a while, and I'm flat until. Another 100 meter mountain. At least, no, at least it's not 200 like this one. Check this out. The rocks here are super cool. There's like several different types of rock, and they're all like crisscrossed and patterns like this weird rock. It's, it's, not, it's not just here, it's everywhere. But yeah, weapons ready for the descent. The way down the other side had just as overgrown vegetation as the way up, and in even longer sections, but also some rather nice sections of trail. My left knee was starting to really hurt from all the repeated descents on the trip, and the heat had sucked a lot of energy out of me. Came out of the bush, and just because I did, this happened. This is not in the forecast for today at all. Oh well. Uh, road walk over and then through some fields and now this, whatever this is. Holy crap, I have five kilometers less to go. Well, this is basically impassable. And even if I could scramble my way over it, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. So. There was a better cross on one of the signs, and I think I spotted a, an orange sign up higher in the hill before, so I'm going to backtrack and see if that's the way, if it's been rerouted. I don't know if there's a good resource to find out about these things, but this doesn't seem to be the right way. On the other hand, I hope the new reroute is easier. Also, check out the mushrooms. Really cool. Well, that ain't an orange sign, and this ain't a trail, so I guess we go try the other side, climbing course it is. Okay, one more try. Way down there is a pole. It looked to me like it had a red marking on it, not an orange. But maybe I can go down there and then cut left anyway. Just to get behind all of that rubble. Who knows? That way it's just barred. And at least this looks walked. Where now then?
here maybe? A hidden path appears. Oh, yes. Nice. Okay, we're on the way again. Probably walked a kilometer extra or something up and down the hill, but whatever. I don't know how much this picks up, but the whole trail is sloped. Like you're about to roll an ankle every step. Trail conditions were better after that, but not good, with roots and rocks everywhere. Several small but steep climbs had me thinking the next mountainous section was about to begin, only to immediately drop down an elevation again. Update. That wasn't a big climb. Went back down almost immediately. I'm still on this gnarly forest trail. So, still at least one big challenge left to go. I guess. With all my backtracking and confusion, my distance is now off. So I have no idea how much extra I have what. Which means I have no idea where I am related to things on the trail, but we'll see. Anyway, that wasn't the climb. It was just a climb. But then soon enough, the climb started for real. Oh, I think that was it. Okay, I light again for 130 or something. Whatever. I hope that's it. Also, I had water in my camera pack. But I don't want to stop and fill it because mosquitoes everywhere. All right. <laughs> Coming down here. We're below 50 now, I think. And I'm pretty sure we're on the last few kilometers. <sighs> I'm just basically hobbling along at this point. I can't wait to be done with this section. It is a mess. It's overgrown, it's rocks, it's roots. It's got everything. Except the spectacular views, I guess. <sighs> so, should be a store down here. And uh, I just want to get some prepared, like actual fresh food with greens and stuff in it. And then eat and feel sorry for myself. And then we'll decide what to do. I don't like the look of that. At all. Well, turns out we're going on anyway. Because trail didn't actually hit the town here. So, we're just going. I'm gonna need to stop very soon. Somewhere. And just make dinner. But, uh, then we're going. This section is supposed to be easy and take three hours to walk, but it's 11.5 kilometers. <laughs> and, uh, yikes. We may also not do the entire thing. We'll see. The alternative would have been to rent a cabin here, if they had any available, then go and check next roundabout, and then eat. If they'd had a restaurant, I'd have probably done that, but nope. Here's the situation. We have just came down here, oh, and past this. This would be where we could have camped. The campground and, and yeah, cottages and whatever. Instead, we are now here, just about to leave this lake. So, my thinking is we'll try to walk here and see if this shelter is somewhere we can just camp in. I was trying to decide whether to get more water from the lake. I had 550 milliliters and decided to not make food yet, which meant I could probably get by. And since it was a bit of a climb down to the lake to get water, I decided to press on without it. I have now been hiking for eight hours today. We're doing probably at least three to three more. But right. let's just go. Somehow, I don't know, just the choice being made for me. 
just made it all easier. And also this terrain is a lot better. You know, come to think of it, this is a strangely long section of the trail with no prepared campgrounds and no like proper camping or privies or anything. So I wonder if that uh, hid for camping that the trail conveniently dips into has anything to do with it. <sighs> this GoPro man. All right, trekking along, we've hit 22 and a half. So it should be less than 10 from today's target. Just met a nice Scottish family. They were hikers, bent over some maps. I'm uh, northbound, so had a little bit of a chat of where I've stayed and what campgrounds were nice and yeah, what, what they have in store on the section tomorrow. They'd already done 30, so they're just looking for somewhere to stay now. Very nice though. Still road walking, still amazing views. Well, I just realized a little bit of a mix-up. place where I was going to get water is the ocean. Don't get water there. <laughs> Gonna have to find another solution then. Ugh. It is literally seconds later. I guess they run a little trail shop or something during the days. But the water said, here you go, drinking water. It's amazing. Prayer's been answered. Dang, are my feet hurting. But there are worse places to be. Amazing. Status update. I've done 25 and a half. I think I'm like 2k away from my shelter destination for the day. But I am running out of steam quickly. And since it is a shelter at a lookout site, it's fairly certain to say it's going to be upwards. It is also 8.30 in the evening and I've been hiking for 9 in almost a half hours. A wild preview appeared. Not marked on any maps. Super grateful though. Okay. Stagger the last few steps of this. As the shelter grew closer, I found myself desperately wishing for it to be in an okay shape. I was near the end of this section, but the guidebook was very clear that the small settlement at the end of it had no amenities to offer hikers. So if the shelter didn't work as a camp, I didn't really have a solid backup plan. For some reason it wasn't recording. This thing GoPro. I found it. It says 500 meters, but somebody's crossed it over and said 300. So that's promising. Anyway, let's go. We hope this is a useful shape for me. That this is not taken, not people want to share, it's not too exposed. Really don't want to hang in a hammock when it's high gust winds like tonight. This is home, I guess. Seems nice and protected. What a view. <sighs> wow. 
You see how tired I am? Because I'm very tired. She make food. The body just says sit still. <laughs> ah, but I guess food. Right, so I'm doing a little bit of messy inventory of my food here. Uh, I had one of these this morning instead of breakfast, so it just felt like I needed a lot of breakfast. So I had uh, reindeer stew. It was pretty good, pretty good. We've got a kebab stew and a chili con carne left. Then these ones are uh, larger. They're like thousand calories. This <laughs> I need more. So we've got beef stew with potatoes, chicken together with rice, and plus two of these I've already tried it, and vegetable chipotle chili with rice. So one of these, I think. What else do we have in my little food bag? Oh, I have one more. Pulled pork with rice. Nice. But I should eat one of these because I need a lot of calories. It's pretty good. There are like chunks of potatoes. Whatever it says with potatoes. At least I almost always assume that it's mash because it's almost always mash but this good don't mind it at all it even has something that could at some point have been a vegetable on it all right let me talk you through the setup here obviously this is a tiny shelter it's meant for us chilling in during the daytime not for sleeping in but it'll, it'll do for one person i think it's really well well aligned, they probably knew the wind directions here. So yeah, it's gusting like crazy outside, but I'm barely feeling it in here, so that's great. I'm gonna take my backpack, I'm gonna pack everything that I don't need. I'm gonna put my, my sleeping pad, the one from the hammock, here. At the back, near one of the corners. I'm a little worried for like splinters or maybe sharp on the planks, but it seems pretty okay. I'm gonna go through them. I might put my rain jacket on top and then put the sleeping pad on top of that or something, if there is something. And I'm going to pack up everything else that I don't need in my bag, and I'm going to place it like in the middle in front of me to block even more wind if there is any. Well, that's it. These take a while to eat. They're nice because they're big portions, and I need the calories, but they're all the same, basically. Like, take, take a meal, throw it in a blender, and then eat it. It's good, though. Good. This was my longest day so far, and as I prepared for the night in the shelter, I felt proud of my accomplishment. It was absolutely protected and cozy in there, despite the wind ripping through the trees outside. 